Hello. Now, after my request video, I did some thinking, okay? And my thinking was you guys requested some games that I, obviously, games that I have I need to play. So, these two games I do have. Uh, and it's up to which one of them I choose, really. And the two I picked from the guys you, the games you picked, uh, were Conan and Fracture. And the one I picked, Orange Box. Now, the Orange Box is not really a game. It's five games. Now, the Orange Box is not its game. It's not a game at all. It's just the name of all the games inside it. I really thought when I heard the Orange Box, that that was actually going to be in a box. Not a case with five games. I thought it was going to be in a big box or something like it. Maybe Portal was... Uh, morphed in with Team Fortress 2 and maybe Half-Life uh, 2 was morphed in with when Half-Life 2 was in a separate case and then Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2 were morphed into one game itself. So maybe three discs in like maybe a big box. But no, it's in one case, which is a ripoff. Uh, no, it's not. It's it's good, but I'm, I wanted to make, uh, you know, if I don't want Half-Life 2 anymore, uh, I can get rid of those and keep Team Fortress and Portal. But... This is a review of Orange Box, so let me go on with this. Uh, Orange Box is obviously five games. Uh, three of them are pretty much the exact same game. Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. I don't know how that works. Uh, Team Fortress 2, there's a lot of 2s in this. Uh, and Portal, not 2. There's a second one, still alive, but I don't care. Uh, Portal's definitely, to me, one of the weakest things here, to be honest. Because, alright, let me tell you, the last mission is the hardest thing I've ever played in a game. But all the other ones are just sim simply easy. It's still a good game, though. <laughs> it still is. It's weakest one here, but everything else is so good. Uh, Portal's the weakest. Uh, it has great graphics, though, for a little multi a mini game, pretty much. It's about an hour and a half, so it's not really its own game, per se. It's just like a mini game, maybe. Yeah, I just said it's a mini game. It's a mini game. Anyways, it's just, you know, shoot portals into stuff and you come out the other way, like beams will come you have to shoot portals into the wall so the beams will go into the place it has to go and sh shit like that you can pick up your companion cube which is rest in peace uh moment of silence okay uh anyway yeah so portal is a great game really uh yeah yeah it's not it's the weakest part but it's still a great game mini game Sorry. Uh, check in the description for that uh, score. Let me just do Half Life Two, Half Life Two Episode One, and Half Life Two Episode Two right here, really quick. Half Life Two, all just together, is a great game. Uh, it's very spooky sometimes. It's very, uh, uh, I can never say this word. At, at, fuck. It's gay. Uh, it's atmospheric. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Uh, it has a great. It has great graphics still after, like. What five years almost? Uh, even though it's updated for the 360, but still, I mean, I played it on the Xbox when it came out. I couldn't play it on the PC. My PC, uh, obviously, uh, couldn't play that. Uh, so yeah, Half Life 2 itself, you play as a uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Gordon, uh, Gordon Freeman. Yeah, that's his name. For uh, Doctor Gordon Freeman, and you also get a. Uh, uh, What's her name? You also get acquainted by uh, Alex Vance. Uh, I'm pretty sure she was in the first game. I'm not sure. I never played the first one. Heard the first one was just as good as the second one. Uh, but the second one's definitely fun for me. It's a great shooter. It has great graphics. It has great physics, obviously. Uh, because it, there's a physics gun inside the game itself. Uh, but really, it's not the best thing in this uh, package. Uh, what is the best thing? I'll get to that in a second. All right, let me just finish up Half-Life 2. Uh, Half-Life 2 obviously picks up right after Half-Life ended. I'm pretty sure Half-Life ended likes... All right, you f beat the f final boss or whatever. Uh, and the G-Man, you know... I know the G-Man. He's like that retarded businessman. He just comes and says, I am in shame, Golden Freeman. He doesn't talk like that, but it was close. Uh, he sounds... Yeah, he sounds like... <laughs> He sounds like someone from Lord of the Rings, uh, I guess. 
which is also bullshit that Lord of the Rings beat The Godfather in Yahoo movies. It's just a bunch of idiots uh, voting for that. Anyway, so Lord of the Rings Return of the King, by the way. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, go to Yahoo. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, movies, Yahoo movies. Anyway, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. Uh, G Man Prima that Rise in China and Glitter and Gleeman. I think at the end of it, it said that. And then it picks up, it says Rise in China and Glitter and Gleeman. I'm like, oh. It just picks right up. And then you're in a train. You're like, la 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 la. You get off, you go, and shit happens. So, yeah, pretty much that. That I really didn't beat the game yet. But, uh, yeah. Half-Life 2 is still a great game. I love playing it. The missions, uh, I mean the missions, the vehicles are great. The missions obviously are fun. Uh, the characters are great, to be honest. I mean, some of them I really don't remember, but Alex Vance is a girl that, she's like the, she's the hot girl, she's the good girl. She's not supposed to be the sex appeal, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, she's just supposed to be the action girl to help. Gordon Freeman a little bit. I don't know if they get uh, mm -mm, but uh, that'd be cool. Anyway, let me talk about Team Fortress Two. One of the best multiplayer games I've ever played. Team Fortress Two is so much fun. Uh, I haven't played it in a little while because I just got Gears of War Two and shit. You know, uh, I got a lot of other games to play, but I will definitely get back to Team Fortress Two. Team Fortress Two is obviously a cartoony based game. I think Team Fortress One was actually a regular like T. Uh, I think it was it wasn't a mod of Counter Strike, that's what I heard. But yeah, it's just a multiplayer game. You get to play a scout. Scout is just running <laughs> with shotgun. Uh, uh, you get to play as a bazooka guy. You get to play as the the demolition guy, which is I think is like a kind of like a grenade launcher that shoots out. I think there's sticky grenades also that you could plant on walls while people come. You could be the spy who can transform into people. You could be the engineer who makes little guns and shit. Uh, it's still great. It's a great game, really. I'm pretty sure you guys know. I'm pretty sure you play it either on this or the PC. But still, uh, I know I'm talking really fast in this one. But, you know, I... <sighs> yeah. So, Orange Box is obviously a great uh, addition to your 360 collection. Even if you don't like... Say you don't like any of these games. Buy it anyway. Why? It's orange. Orange is a good color. I like orange. Uh, no. It's a box. It's not even a box. It's like a rectangle. Uh, yeah, so, let me just check my time right now. It's eight minutes. Wow, that was like almost ten. Alright, so, uh, I could just, uh, orange box. It's orange. It's, a. it's not blue. It's definitely not gray. Uh, it's a little, it actually, is, it's like a little black. It's a little gray right there, if you can see it. It's white. It's a little tan. He has glasses. Uh, featuring Half-Life 2 Episode 2, which is new to this, obviously. Team Fortress 2, which is new. And Portal, which is new. Why does it say, and introducing Portal, if it's pretty much introducing these two also? I should say, introducing Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Also includes Half-Life 2 and Episode 1. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say about this. Talk about, uh, Portal a little bit more. It's a cake, you know, the cake thing. You know what I'm talking about? If you play Portal, it's, uh, some cake shit. I don't know, it's stupid. Uh, uh, who else? What, uh, Team Fortress 2, I didn't talk about my favorite character in the game, which is the Pyro guy, which is obviously... Yeah. So anyway, Orange Box, great addition to your collection. Even if you don't like like Half Life Two or Portal, you, I, I'm I'm guaranteed you'll like at least like Team Fortress Two. It's fun. It's it's not really innovative. It's just a cartoon based multiplayer, which I really never seen. So I guess it is innovative. Uh, just go get 